Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about shovel disasters at Bingham Canyon Mine. So stay tuned. We're just going to spend a few moments here at the Copper King Mine and then we're going up to Bingham to take a look at the shovel disasters at Bingham Canyon Mine. <laughs> Let's talk about shovel disasters at Bingham Canyon Mine. I have some neat old pictures of some of the old slides that came down onto the shovels and different things. But let's first go to April 11, 2013. It was the main fray landslide. It produced the largest non-volcanic landslide in history. 65 to 70 million cubic meters of dirt and rock rolled down the mountainside. Now this is really neat because no one was hurt. That was really, they had really great monitoring systems and they evacuated everybody out of the area seven hours even before the slide took place. But it just tossed these huge college trucks and these shovels, these gigantic shovels. They just moved them around and pushed them down into the bottom of the pit. You can see some of these pictures. Look at, you can see just see the, treads of the shovel on this one it was pushed and tipped over on its side look at these trucks down here all jammed together so it had a lot of destructive power now slides weren't new to being in canyon they had been going on for a long time but usually they weren't this bad for sure so look at some of these old slides uh, at the mine now this was a pretty dangerous job for the shovel operators to be in these shovels when these big rocks and these big slides came down onto them. Quite a few people lost their lives up there, unfortunately. You see these pictures, this is a tip this shovel way up on its side. It ran into the, looks like a waste car right there. This one, look at the power to tip these great big shovels over. Now these are old standard shovels, so this, these pictures were taken quite a while ago. Probably back in the 30s or 40s even. Look at the size of that rock he's got in his dipper. That's, that's just crazy. Now this one's a 23 shovel. Man lost his life in that one. And we've got a few pictures of that. Look how bad this destroyed this slide, destroyed this shovel right here. Here's another picture of coming in from another direction. And there's a little speeder out there in front of it. There's not too much you can do when you're in a shovel. I guess put your back to it or something. If you had time, I guess. Here's some more pictures of the slides coming out and just crushing these cabs and these shovels. Now look at this picture. This one, some more waste trains right here. And the shovel just 
the boom of the shovel just tipped right over onto it. It just slid down and pushed the train and the shovel right over. This picture was taken in 1956. Bad slide there. Here's a couple of pictures taken on February 3rd, 1955. See how the rocks have come down and just crushed the shovel. Anyway, these just more pictures of these shovels being crushed in. So this is a interesting picture right here. This is uh, this is when they took all these old smaller shovels we used they used on the rail haulage. They had to use a smaller shovel because of the trolley line down there was right over the where the trains ran. When they finally went to diesel, they they got to use a little bit bigger shovels down there to load the trains. So they hauled all these old shovels and they have them sitting up here. 6190 yard. Well, I think that's a 6800 yard up in the top. And that's September 1984. So that's some of the bad disasters of the shovels.